Hey guys, thanks for tuning in. Um, hopefully you can hear me on the microphone. I'm with my son here, Kian, in Wailea, and we're just trying to do a, kind of a review of the Splash Drone, the new gimbal that just came out. It's the one axis gimbal where it has a drop mechanism attached to it. And so you can remotely pitch the camera and you can also release stuff from the drop mechanism. So what I originally wanted to do was try to do some drone fishing with these Alua poles over here. I was gonna do a slide bait rig where you take out some weight, you drop it, you snag a sacrificial weight, you make the line super tight. And then you slide down, I was gonna slide down some octopus and see if we could get some Alua. But I think we just like hiked all the way along this ridge and it's like a really tough hike, but it's super windy. So what I was gonna do is just kind of install this new um, one axis gimbal that Swell Pro just came out with, Swell Pro, for the Splash Drone 3. And um, see if we can just kind of test launch it in the wind here, maybe. I think it's gusting like, gosh, 20 to 30, so it may not even be safe enough to do that. But if anything, this will be kind of a little unboxing and installation right here on the shore of the, um, the new Splash Drone one axis gimbal with a 4K camera, underwater waterproof camera, and the drop mechanism built in. So let's get started. Okay, so anyway, you may have seen, um, if you haven't already, I'll have some videos of this Splash Drone 3 uh, linked in the video description. It's a pretty cool drone. Um, I've got an unboxing of it, a setup. I've also done a full-on flight test in the ocean over here, actually right over here, and just to see how waterproof it is. But anyway, uh, let's get started with unboxing this new camera gimbal setup here, and it's a pretty massive camera with all this stuff on it but it comes in this box and it's got a couple of foam pieces just attached to it I'm just gonna take these off first get everything out of the box if you don't have one of these which I already do it already comes with one of these little plates on the bottom they give you a plate in the box just in case but I don't really need this plate just because I already have one on the bottom. But there it is, so there's the camera. Swell Pro has this really cool, easy mounting system where all you're doing is sliding this whole thing right into the notch on the bottom of the drone. If I tilt this up a little bit, you can see how it has this little aluminum square with a hole in it. And it's just a hole all the way through. And you slide this thing on here, just like so, and then the screw goes right through and you tighten it. But anyway, here's the 4K camera. So it's the same 4K camera that actually comes with their their three, their three two-axis gimbal, the high-end uh, package. If you get the two-axis gimbal that goes, it stabilizes the roll and the pitch. This one only stabilizes the pitch and it also allows you, with the rollers on the controller, to um, remotely pitch it down and also to remotely release this little servo drop mechanism here with the airdrop switch right here on the controller. So pretty neat. And that's kind of what this drone was missing. They had a fisherman kit where it was just a fixed camera, like a 1080 camera I think, or even less, where all you could do was see the FPV and you had to manually push it however you wanted and you couldn't remotely adjust it. So this is the next step up. We have a, a gimbaled camera and a release mechanism. So we're just gonna go through real quick how to set this up. Micro SD card, you can put it in here. This is a waterproof, an entire waterproof system here where you can dunk this in the water. So pretty neat. So if you have an SD card, micro SD card, you put it in here and seal this back up. I'm not gonna put it in a card right now because I honestly don't think I'm gonna get this thing up in the air today because it's just too windy here. It would be kind of stupid to launch it and then it blow over in the water and the rocks and just lose the whole thing. So here's how you do it. So camera facing front, the front of the drone has these uh, little front icons here. And also on the top, it's listed as front there, little triangles. And these nipples here are always in the back for the antennas. So you just slide this thing right up on this little block here. Stick this aluminum screw in. And it's super simple. All you're doing is cranking that down finger tight taking like a quarter, 
if you have one or anything like if you have a knife and just give it a good crank a little more than finger tight and that thing's on there then what you do is just take um, the plug here this waterproof plug and you can see how it has an arrow on it there and all we're doing is is plugging it in to the craft there's a little notch on the female end and also on the male end so you can't plug it in the wrong way but they give you a little red arrow there and a red dot there so you can kind of begin to line it up so push it in screw that in so that watertight seal kind of plugs up and you're ready to go the wires really won't get in in the way of the camera or anything and you can see how that thing basically you're flying in the air and it's going to stabilize like this while you're flying it's not going to stabilize the roll but you can also control it like this through the gimbal so you can face down to see where your bait's going to drop and you also can face it back up which is really convenient so you can you know really have a fpv view of where you're going and also where you're dropping so you get both scenarios there brushless uh, motor here just one brushless motor and then you can see these little dampers are going to dampen some of the vibration there in the camera set up and ready to go i think what we'll do is we'll just do a power power up on this little picnic table i have set up just so at least we can show you something today on how this thing works okay so this is just basically plugging in the battery you guys can fast forward if you already know how to do this or you don't want to watch this but just unscrewing these thumb screws i go ahead and put in a decasint pack inside when i'm not using this a big old pack here that i got from I don't know some other item or food or something it just kind of keeps the moisture out of the electronics in there just in case while it's in storage i always put my wires in first so they don't go ahead and uh, scrape on the craft so connector in first now we should be pretty much ready to to boot up so I'll go ahead and press the controller on first here both buttons powering up the drone and putting back on the cover tighten these things finger tight pretty much as tight as you can and what I would honestly recommend is even after you tighten them finger tight give them a little crank with a quarter or something like an extra quarter turn maybe no pun intended and <laughs> so you, you can make sure no water is going to get in there. There we go. So hopefully you guys can kind of see what's going on on the screen there. I'll go a little closer. So you can see the FPV. I can move the right roller. So I'll be flying. You can, of course, this is all waterproof. You can dip this in the water while you're doing this. And if you need to look where you're going to drop your bait after you fly out, if you're trying to get maybe a, a view of the reef, Take your bait or whatever your your weight high up and then pitch this guy down after you get where you want to be and you can see exactly where your bait's gonna drop which is pretty darn cool and then you can pick it back up after you drop and come on home and be entirely FPV if you wanted to and you can see how this thing is stabilizing the pitch so that's another cool thing about this one as you see me rocking the drone but the pitch is actually stabilizing. So at least you have that stabilization in your video. Of course, not stabilizing this. You can see there's no, there's no roll motor for the gimbal. So just pitch stabilization. Your horizon should stay nice and flat. And then the other function of this one is a built-in uh, drop. Flick our switch for airdrop. And the way that works, let me just bring this over like this so you can see the servo is we flip this airdrop down and watch this servo as I flip this. You see that? So the whole thing releases. And this can hold a couple of pounds. This is a stainless steel mechanism and a fully aluminum bracket. So that thing is gonna hold up pretty much quite a bit of weight. As much weight as this thing can carry and I think the drone can carry about two pounds safely. So really cool. I mean, this thing isn't super cheap, but for somebody that wants a pretty good quality. I mean, Soul Pro is known for their quality of stuff. They got a pretty industrial standard here. Everything is built very well, machined very well. And in all my tests, these things are actually waterproof. As long as you seal them upright. This is the second one I've had. I've had the Swell, the Splash Drone 2, and now the Splash Drone 3. And both have been tried and true in my tests 
to actually be nice and waterproof. Okay guys, and what I'm noticing, um, putting this thing back in the, in the box here is check this out. So this is the case you get when you buy the Splash Drone 3. It comes in this pretty cool zipper case. I'm sure you've seen this before if you watch some of my other reviews, but the cool thing about this, hopefully the wind doesn't blow this away, is check this out. This is the original two axis. You see how there's two axes here of stabilization? So this stabilizes the roll and the pitch, but it doesn't have that um, drop mechanism, which this one does. But check this out. So the box they give you for the drop mechanism gimbaled camera actually has this removable bottom piece in it. So you see how the indention is different than the one you get with the other one? So Swell Pro is pretty smart to do this, where if you're gonna be using this camera for the day, just the fishing camera here, you take out that insert, you put in the other insert, just like so, and so you can store your camera nice and secure, just like the other one right in here. I think you have to unscrew this actually for it to fit in here. This thing hopefully is not blowing off the table and I hope you guys can hear what I'm even saying. It's so windy. But look at that. So that thing just, I mean, you're spending quite a bit of money on this, so you want it to be secure. And it's even got a little notch for the plug. And there you go. And that thing's secure. You don't have to have an extra box for your gimbal. When you buy this version with the three axis gimbal, it's already in the bag. So um, the next question is, where do I put this gimbal when I'm not using it? And it looks like you can just store it in the same box that the Fisherman, whoops, Fisherman One Axis Gimbal came in. And look at that, so it just slides right in there. You just take out your insert from there, swap inserts, put it in the box. And I wanna see if the top of this box closes. It looks like it's a little high, but just for home storage reasons, um, it looks like it's gonna be fine. So it doesn't close all the way, there's a little bit of a gap here, but good enough for storing this gimbal in a nice box when you're not using it. Well, that's pretty cool. Of course, I have not flight tested or drone dropped with this yet in an actual fishing event. So I'm gonna get, get to that as soon as there's some weather. It's just, the weather's just been crazy windy. It's just winter time now, um, starting of winter, so the wind's picking up. But I will get out there with this thing and I'm gonna do some fishing with it. I have all the poles, all the gear. I just need the weather to cooperate, so. Anyway guys, thanks for tuning in and watching this little supposed to be drone fishing episode but turned into on the beach unboxing of the new Swell Pro camera. As usual, I'll have the links to the Swell Pro Splash Drone 3 and also these guys here down in the description if you want to check them out, see what the pricing is and all the specs on them. Pretty cool stuff and I'll see you guys in the next one. Thanks for watching.